This video is brought to you by Blue Guardian, the prop firm that lets you trade with EAs or any style you like at any time. If you click on play, see that price rejected. Usually you will see explosive movements, as you already noticed from all the previous examples from the three Uritas, because it's a conjunction of multiple, multiple confluences, multiple things intersecting, pushing the price at the same time from this narrow area. That's why it's a very strong pattern with a very high win rate. Folks, so welcome back. Richard Nasser onto the show. Now, this is the first time he shared a full-on trading strategy with us he breaks down his trio retest strategy which has a high win rate and explosive moves out of the gate so we're going to dive in and find out how it works but first let's hear from my sponsor our sponsor blue guardian is the only prop firm that gives their traders a tool to protect them from hitting their max daily loss and over trading it's super simple to use just set the guardian protector each day from your dashboard did you also know that they've just released an unlimited time evaluation with a zero trading days requirement giving you plenty of time to hit their low 8 and 4% targets, making it super fast to get funded. Plus, it's cheaper than the 40-day time limit evaluation. Check out the link and coupon in the description to get 10% off your next Blue Guardian evaluation. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing great. Hello, Cam. Thank you so much for having me again. It's truly a pleasure. Today, I want to share a very simple but powerful trading strategy with a very high win rate exclusively for trading that channel. I call it Triori Test. So let's keep it short and dive straight into it. For those who already know me, I always start from the higher time frames to get a feeling about the overall market. Are we overall bullish, bearish, or stuck inside the range? I believe that half of the work is done here on higher time frames because once we know what to look for, we can zoom into lower time frames and look, for example, for a buy or a sell. If you are in the middle of nowhere, I'm not interested in looking for setups because it's a no trade zone. Sometimes no trade is also a trade and you are getting paid to wait. Wait for the price to approach a key rejection zone. If you are in the middle, it's a 50-50 area. But as we approach a key rejection zone, we have more probability that the price would reject the zone. Of course, it can still be broken upward. In this case, we'll be adjusting accordingly. And the same goes for a rising channel. As we approach the lower band, we'll be looking for a buy. And as we approach the upper band, we'll be looking for a sell. If you're in the middle of nowhere, we don't look for setups. And of course, I insist on the word looking for a buy and a sell because the key rejection zone is just to feed the market where we currently are. It's only one confluence in our trade plan and as per my trading style i always look for three confluences yes three because one or two might be random for example i can draw a line an infinite amount of lines by connecting me and the laptop the mug the mic uh, everything right but if it's a line connecting three things it has more reason so this is my approach and for example on your sd card let's get into it on what is exactly the trio test so for example on your sd card we are overall bullish we have our impulse a flat correction another impulse and a falling correction what i care about is the higher high and the higher low that's why i'm overall bullish and i can draw a rising channel or rising broadening wedge for example just like this and now I drew this trend line by connecting these two dots for overall direction. As we approach this low band again, I'll be looking for buy stops because it's a non-horizontal support zone and a trend following setup. So in this case, usually I zoom into lower time frames here as price approaches the lower band and look for setups. However, I want to show you one more thing. If you look left, you notice that this is also a demand zone as we had a consolidation here before an explosive movement happened. So we already have two confluences here at demand and the lower trend line. And if you look deeper, we can see that this latest correction movement is engulfed by a falling channel. And let's go for a different color for example, orange, and make an offset for it. And here we go. We are currently approaching also the lower bound of the correction movement, which makes this area a trio retest. You've got the name, right? Retest, retest, and retest of the lower trend line. Lower trend line in orange acting as an oversold zone and this demand zone. That's the idea of it. And of course, no matter how strong it is, support, trio retest, or whatever, we don't buy blindly because it's an entire zone. Of course, it makes it narrower because you know that the demand is a big one or even a support. It might be big on higher time frame. The trio retest, because it's the intersection of three things, it will narrow down the rejection zone, which was, which is even better. But anyway, Anyway, we still zoom into lower time frames. For example, here we zoom in, let's say to H4, it depends on your style, and we look for setups. For example, let's wait for this high to be broken 
upwards and then we can go for a long position right or if you are a more into lower time frames you can zoom in here around this lower structure around this one and look for setups as well and the same goes for this previous one we have a channel broken upward and so on now let's go over one more example on usdcad before going over a lot of examples because i want to cover as many cases as possible for you to see it even better and let me know on instagram if you would like this is my handle rich the signalist if you ever saw a theory test or you will be seeing one soon i would uh, be happy if you want, can, can share it with me send me a picture or something or if you noticed it previously but you didn't call it a theory test right so let me know feel free to ask me any questions anytime i would be happy to hear from you all so uh, one more example if you zoom into daily time frame and i have prepared some examples to save time and to cover as many cases for example on usd card we also have a theory test here i usually draw it as a circle as a zone so you can clearly see that we also have so previously we covered this one on weekly time frame and now we have a support zone multiple rejections from this area the lower trend line as a big big correction zone and the demand zone that's why this area is also a theoretist and i've been looking for bus stops around the zone also we can see that we have this big big channel and we are retesting or, or, or like yeah or the third touch of this upper bound re resistance zone and also a demand zone that's why this area is a trio read as we zoom into lower time frames and wait for the bears to take over here or even here it depends on your style just wait for any confirmation that the bears are strong enough to push lower because price can still dive inside the resistance before taking lower and we want to maximize reward and minimize risk right so don't sell blindly no matter how strong it is next let's go over for example euro chf we can see that we have been overall bullish making big higher highs and higher lows you are able to draw this lower channel as we approach it again, we'll be looking for buy stops here. That's a theory test because we have a trend line, a support zone, and a demand area. I want to show you a new one that I'm looking for. This is how you see it live. We are overall bullish, impulse correction, impulse, and we are currently in this correction phase. So that's the first uh, confluence, the lower trend line, the first retest. Also, previous year resistance, broken upward, now support. That's the second one. And if you zoom into H4 time frame, you can see that this correction is engulfed by this channel. And we are currently rejecting the lower band. That's why I usually do this, draw a circle, and make an offset for it. And then this is a very strong theory test down there. That's why we are looking for buy stops. Of course, we don't buy blindly zoom into lower time frames and wait for the trigger. One more example on CHF JPY. So as you can see, it doesn't happen often, but you can see many, many examples already. And if you go over a lot of pairs, no matter if it's a stock, crypto, whatever, whatever you trade, you can find a lot. We're going over many examples today. So CHF JPY are also overall bullish, impulse, correction, impulse. And here we go. We have an, a correction and this is a rising shape of a correction. Also the lower bound of it. So two trend lines already and previous resistance turned support. This is a, also a very strong theory as zone. We can look for bus stops around this area and I posted this one also on trading view now let's move forward to the crypto market which you can also apply it there I have it here I would already posted so we have the lower bound of this rising wedge pattern this demand zone which is also the 25k round number also as support and resistance second confluence and the lower bound of this correction movement if you can play See that price rejected. Usually you will see explosive movements, as you already noticed from all the previous examples from the theory test, because it's a, a conjunction of multiple, multiple confluences, multiple things intersecting, pushing the price at the same time from this narrow area. That's why it's a very strong pattern with a very high win rate. That's it for BTC for ETH, which is already like correlated with Bitcoin, the same exact pattern, but I covered it because I want to show you one more thing. On ETH, we have two theory tests now forming, rejecting the first bound. You can still retest it before training higher, but this is a very strong theory test as well. Previously, this one, as you already saw on trading view, we are overall bearish, making lower lows and lower highs around the lower bound of this channel. That's the first one. Demand zone and the support zone, also the 1500 round number. And now if we push higher from here or after a retest, as you approach this upper area, we have a resistance, 2K. We have this upper trend line now acting as a non-horizontal resistance and also the overall trend as you can see the above channel 
This is also a very strong trio retest. Last but not least for the crypto market before we dive into the remaining ones, we have XRP. Also support and resistance as you clearly see in green, the lower trend line in blue and the lower trend line as well. I posted this one even before it approaches the area. So if you click on play, you can see that price he tested the zone and traded higher as you clearly so we have explosive movements. For example, I trade crypto spot. So I zoomed in here on H4 time frame, wait for, waited for a break above this one. And then I went for a long position for this one. Currently, we also have a theory test on XRP. If you zoom out to weekly time frame, we have a demand zone, the, the lower trend line, the second one, and also a support and resistance. If you zoom into H4 time frame, I'm waiting for a break above this one, just like I did previously. And then it would be my trigger to go long. Let's go over a couple of examples on the stock market. I'm going fast, but you already got the idea. I'm trying to show you as many cases as possible on J and J, Johnson and Johnson. And in case you are wondering about these dots, blue and red ones, this, this, this is a rich TL for those in case you are uh, seeing it the first time. This is my, my baby, a tool I created to make objective analysis. As you already noticed, I only use it to draw my trend line support and resistance and even the trigger, the, the patterns, for example, on H4 time frame, on H1, sorry. Okay, we have this range uh, as after after we break it downward, we can go for a, a short position. After we break this inverse head and shoulders pattern, we can go for a long position and so on. So you can get it on the website, richtl.com. And let me write it down anyway. And for those who are on trading notes, use trading not coupon, like all caps lock to get $100 off uh, on the lifetime package, which includes lifetime access to a rich TL, the full course, including my customized strategies. So three Uritas is only one, uh, one strategy. I've built many customized strategies and patterns that you can't find anywhere else. And most importantly, it's objective using rich TL. So you only follow the dots because you all know that trading is subjective. So trading, so rich TL solve this problem. The website is rich TL. Dot com. That's the website. Feel free to check it out for more info on what you will get. Of course, my weekly overview as well, the community access where you can ask questions and so on. And on the website at the end, you can also find a message box. You can ask me any questions. So let's move forward to the lower band. You are approaching this area, which is also a demand zone as we had an aggressive movement upwards from it creating a demand zone. And it's also a support zone from weekly time frame. As you clearly notice, multiple, multiple rejections from this area, and it's a big zone. So as mentioned previously, the three retest narrows down this big support. We know the price can still dive inside the support, but as you clearly notice, we rejected before uh, diving inside it, we rejected around the upper bound of it because it's lining up with this trend line, this demand zone, and so on. Of course, we don't buy blindly, as I showed you, zoom into lower time frames and wait for the trigger, for example, here by breaking above this head and shoulders. One more example on AMD, overall bullish, support zone, previously a resistance, lower trend line in orange as well. So this is a trio retest area. I was looking for buy stops here. And for the bullish to, to remain in control and take over from a long-term perspective to start the next impulse, we need to see a break above this daily high. On AAL, American Airlines, we have the support zone, the lower bound, a demand area, and also uh, approaching the lower bound. We also had a trio retest previously. So you zoom into lower time frames and I'm looking for buy stops here already, knowing that price can still dive inside the zone before trading higher. That's why we don't buy blindly, zoom into lower time frames and look for setups. Previously, the bears took over here by breaking below this, previously above this. Now I'm waiting for a similar, uh, like, like if, if you want, if you want pattern, uh, like using HTL. For example, a new high to be formed and then buy on to break up. But you can also zoom into lower time frames if you would like. We have a channel just like this. And for example, if a new high is formed now, I'll consider it my new. Here we go. The trigger swing and then buy on to break up. But always wait for extra confirmation, no matter how strong a key rejection zone is. That's basically it. Let me know if you like it, if you used it before, if you noticed it. And if you see one, please send it to me. I would be happy to see it. Best of luck. And I'll see you hopefully on the next one. All right, folks, I'm here at Black Bull Markets headquarters in Auckland, New Zealand. You can see this amazing view behind me of Auckland Harbour. Now, talking about views, if you do want to get free TradingView Pro, then you, all you need to do is trade one lot a month at Black Bull Markets, and they're going to give you free TradingView Pro. So, folks, to find out more, click the link in the description below or the card above.
All right, folks, solid stuff there from Richard. Now, if you do want to find out a bit more about him, click the link below the video. You're going to find a podcast we shot a bit earlier, and you're also going to find out how he reads a price chart in detail with probably one of the best videos I've seen on breaking down a price chart ever. Go and check that out right now, and also hit subscribe, like, and that notifications bell while you're clicking around down there, and we'll see you in the next one.